Welcome back students. In this video I'm going to introduce to you to Google Earth Engine Code Editor. Code Editor is a heart of Google Earth Engine platform as it allows a number of, uh, well actually it allows a number of features such as uh, writing JavaScript codes, map display for visualization to special data sets, uh, accessing reference documentation, accessing uh, based git based script manager etc and etc but prerequisite to access um, uh, google earth code editor is basically have a uh, uh, signing in information uh, so to sign up for google earth engine and to good uh, to get approved uh, this can uh, take uh, several days so uh, please don't be disappointed if it the uh, positive uh, approval does not come immediately so in order to come to the uh, code editor you have to go to the platform uh, code editor or in a um, for the future maybe you can just um, uh, type code uh, dot or engine dot google dot com and here uh, you can see the window, basically uh, how the uh, code editor is looks like. It is a web-based IDE for the Earth Engine JavaScript API. Code editor features and designed to make developing complex your special workloads fast and easy. So basically, uh, what are the main uh, features of code editor? Here we have on the left hand side a uh, script manager. So basically, this is where you uh, store your scripts. The next tab is a docs. Uh, so basically, this is an access to the documentation where you can access all the documentation uh, related uh, to um, scripts uh, and uh, code editor api and here you have a cup uh, uh, um, um, map, uh, a tab assets where you actually store your assets so basically for example you can import and load uh, your own vector data or raster images into google earth engine well uh, here is a, a script uh, window where basically we uh, can um, uh, write scripts and here we have a default uh, default uh, repository where um, uh, there's codes provided by Google Earth Engine uh, and stored by, by Git um, in a Google infrastructure could be assessed yeah uh, why, why one of the very uh, important and nice features of Google Earth Engine is that you can uh, basically share your code code with anyone using this uh, get link function so when you um, type get link then uh, there will be a link provided that you can share with you, with another person or multiple people by the way, uh, this will not affect uh, your version of the code. So basically, you can uh, share this link, and the person will get the, uh, will be able to access the code and run it on his uh, computer. But uh, afterwards, if you would change the code, then the person would not see it. He would only get um, a later, uh, later version of your code. Okay, run. Run is to run a code. For example, when I run it. You can see that we have a different things uh, appearing on co in console. So console is basically the place that uh, of where uh, the um, output of the print function here, when you see print, will be uh, displayed. Yeah. Um, well, we have here on the right hand side is also inspector. So you can click on any place uh, on your map, and then it will be. A, it will provide you um, the information about this place and you can also here switch from map view or satellite view yeah so basically with a satellite view then you can assess the um, view uh, based on the very high resolution images and it's also scale dependent when you zoom out uh, different um, images are uh, showing so here it's a very high resolution images from google uh, from or, uh, from um, uh, Google Earth and the, then Landsat, Modis, and uh, so on, depending on special resolution of uh, of the images. So this is Inspector Console is where the uh, the um, 
printing uh, results are shown and also here we have a tab tasks so for example when uh, you run a task to uh, uh, export uh, the results of, of your land use and cover classification the progress bar will be uh, will appear here the last uh, window that I want to introduce to you is a map basically the map is a um, is a window which shows um, um, an object, a map object in the API that refers to the map display in the code editor. And um, it will be, for example, if you use a function uh, map dot get bounds uh, brackets, it will return the geographic region visible in the uh, code editor. So basically, uh, your results are going to also be mapped uh, into uh, the map window and just to show you uh, an example I'll show you maybe I run a small code so this is an unsupervised classification I'm going to uh, to run it and I'm going to show you the results that you basically uh, uh, would see how it looks like yeah so basically yeah, with this um, in the map we can see our area we can see uh, um, uh, the results of uh, our analysis and here exactly this uh, this is a nice example because I can introduce to you different layers you can uh, basically here um, um, either um, either um, um, turn off or turn on different layers uh, which uh, you would like to show uh, on your map on your map as a result so uh, here we have um, basically uh, three components we have um, this um, uh, based this classification is based on Landsat and uh, so the images that you see below uh, the uh, northern part of Germany are Landsat images and uh, this is a median composite for this and we have also geometry imports yes yeah? so we, we have a geometry so there was a region which was drawn by this geometry tool and we can um, uh, here if you want to um, to uh, blind this this is a polygon feature so vector file you have to uh, turn it off here and uh, you also what is really nice uh, you you probably now could recognize the power of Google Earth Engine because it took me basically one click to run this unsupervised classification based on the lands and composite yeah so once you have a code it's really uh, could be very efficient using the power of Google Earth Engine Another tools which are uh, very important for you are these uh, vector tools on the left hand side. So with these tools you can uh, draw uh, different um, uh, features uh, that uh, could be used. Uh, directly in your code yeah so for example if you want to um, show the boundaries of your study area you can uh, basically um, uh, use it and then um, if you don't need it you can also delete it yeah I will delete it because I don't uh, I don't need it and here on the right you can um, um, switch off switch on the different outputs that you have created yeah so basically this was in short the main uh, interface features of uh, Google Earth engine uh, code editor see you in the next video